Hello and welcome to ClimbingArborist.com. Thank you for tuning in for this video about carabiners. Don't forget, if you like the video, then hit the subscribe button if you're watching this on YouTube. Don't forget to check out all that other content on ClimbingArborist.com that we have. Blogs, podcasts, other videos, all that good stuff and much more. So, in this video, I'm going to talk about carabiners. Now, when I thought about putting this video together, you think, oh, a video about carabiners, that'll last about two minutes. But, there's so many thoughts I had when I was thinking about making a video about carabiners to try and help people less in the know, less familiar, only just getting in the industry, why you would buy all these different types of carabiners. So, you know, I'm going to talk about the obvious, like the the main triple locking carabiners, uh, the different shapes and sizes. I'm going to talk about all the different accessory carabiners that I use, what I use for my lanyard, my hitch climber, my zigzag, my redirect, um, all the different accessories like handsaw, chainsaw, um, ring and ring retrieval, all this kind of stuff. So there's so many different reasons why I particularly like to use a certain carabiner for a certain job. Um, whereas I used to just think, oh, I just need a, a triple action carabiner, life support, I'll just use whatever for anything. And then the more that you get to know um, and the more that you kind of figure out, oh, one actually works a little better for a specific situation, for a specific purpose, uh, you know, you just get used to it. And then you have the different accessories that carabiners come with to like capture around the eye and that kind of stuff. So I'm going to talk about all that kind of stuff. I've got so much different things going on. Um, so hopefully you'll find this interesting and hopefully you'll find it useful. Even just one little tidbit of information. So let's get started. Firstly, I'm going to start with accessory carabiners and then we'll build up to like the life support carabiners. So the reason I want to start with accessory carabiners is because I have fallen in love with something that you may never have seen before for so many different reasons. Anyway, um, okay, so accessory carabiners, obviously we're going to start with some expensive ones. So these are the little DMM XSRE, so obviously XSRE, say it fast, accessory carabiners. So these ones are actually have a rating of four kilonewtons. They're just, you know, just an open gate. They're not, um, they're not a twist lock or anything, but these are phenomenal for lots of different purposes. Um, I, we, I use them, or I did use them fairly often for things to do with my throw line, throw ball. So because they're a nice little carabiners, um, connecting like the one throw ball to the other one at the bottom and you know you've got the strength there you know even with like some really hard pulling if it gets stuck in a fork you're not gonna snap the carabiner you probably end up ripping the little eye out of the throw ball or you'll snap your throw ball before you do any damage to the carabiner so really good use for that um, and just just kind of joining things together, throw lines together, anything to do with throw lines, they are fantastic. And the only downside, because I was using these a lot for um, like retrieval of my friction saver, but th there is there is that very slim chance, it's never happened to me, but I'm sure if you put it out there to the, the world wide web, um, somebody somewhere in ARB that have used it for retrieval and it will come open and clipped around the ring and got stuck or whatever. So, um, so I've kind of gone away from that a little bit and I'll show you what onto in a minute, but staying on with the DMM accessory carabiners, uh, use them for my neck tether. So I had a couple of neck tethers there, use them on my lanyards. Um, now these ones, well this one actually I've got on my landed at the moment, these are Rock Exotica ones and they're very very similar to the DMM ones, obviously the different shape, they have that like pear shape um, and have that same kind of strength to them as the DMM ones so it's just 
basically their version. You can use these to retrieve your ring and ring friction saver as well. Um, now I actually have started to really like these ones for one particular reason. Um, and that is, I use, a lot of the time I use these for my chainsaw lanyards because it's really lightweight, really small, really cheap. Um, comes with this kind of twist action carabiner on it when you buy it. So you don't have the expense of buying a carabiner. Um, I don't feel like it needs to be like a triple locking carabiner it's like it's got the twist action so it's not just a it's not just a an open kind of wire gate it still needs an action to open it and that's always on the back of my harness um, never really been loaded unless I drop the saw into it which is never um, so that's so what I use the rock exotica mini carabiner for over the DMM is I've in the last like seven eight months I've been I've been using this little Buckingham tool here. I mean, I, so this is a Buckingham harness as well, actually, which I'm I've been kind of testing for a while. But the this little kind of like saw carrier, which is absolutely this is my favourite thing at the moment. Uh, it's brilliant for the uh, Husqvarna top handle chainsaws that have that stiff kind of um, attachment point on it to clip on because because it stays stiff you can just slide it on with one hand um, but all but when I chain saws and go to a bigger saw obviously on the on the rear handled stuff you don't have that same clip and I, if you want to use this what I do is I'll put this on on this lanyard and that that slides on there perfectly like it's it, that opening is wide enough to get, kind of slide in there perfectly whereas I was trying it with the DMM ones and it's just like it's so tight on there like like it it's it's not great and you can see uh, I mean the obviously the green paint on this is going to wear off anyway but on both sides it's really worn from from sliding it on and off so that rock exotic carabiner. I know it has the strength to hold the saw, um, and it's it's the perfect size. Now that's quite an expensive little carabiner just for like hooking the saw on. So I understand that, but I I have a, f a few, and I always trying to find like new um, applications for them. And it's all about efficiencies for me, and so I'm always trying different carabiners and different applications. So, and same again with these, I'll use these for my throw bags um, and all that kind of business, my hand saws, um, just anything that I need to like clip onto me that's, that, I'm, that I don't feel like needs like any triple action carabiners, that kind of stuff. So that's the DMM and the Rock Exotica accessory carabiners. Now I was saying that I did use those for my throw line, but I've kind of gone away from that now. And what I've found is I found this company called Night Eyes. I don't know if you can see that there. These carabiners are called Night Eyes. And if you go into like a lot of major hardware stores, if you're in America, like Home, Home Depot or just lots of different hardware stores. Um, they'll still they'll have them all on the stand. All the Night Eyes products they sell a lot of lot of like kind of glow in the dark uh, running bands stuff for dogs and that. But basically these carabiners they're pretty strong and they have this little rubber kind of locking mechanism. So it just kind of slides up into a little groove, and then the wire gate doesn't open. So I slide the slide the rubber bit up. The wire gate opens. Slide the rubber gate down, and it doesn't open. Um, and you can get them in all different sizes. So this one is like a it's number two sizing. Um, that one's number three sizing. And like so number two, and I I have this like S. It's called like an S one as well. So it has. 
it has two openings. Um, those ones will retrieve the friction saver, the ring and ring. So it'll go through the big ring, grab on the small ring, and you and you can lock it out with that little rubber piece. So that is now what I use for my retrieval, just because I don't want that chance of those uh, little accessory carabiners, those DMM ones, like opening. Um, and I often I've got like I've got these on hand all the time, so I. I don't often use the retrieval ball uh, so that is and that is the accessory and I use the those little night eyes carabiners for things like my this little grapple hook here whenever I use it um, what else do I have it on I have one on this retrieval line that I use to retrieve my climbing line another one there for clipping stuff on uh, the, and the thing is that they're really cheap as well um, so here in Canada, these DMM accessory carabiners, they're about, I think they're probably like $25 or something. Whereas these are about $4. Um, and this one here, it's actually got like a load weight limit on it saying 11 kilograms. Now, obviously, it's probably, you probably trust that rating less than you do on the DMM ones. Maybe their testing's not as good, but the fact that it's kind of, it says on there it's good for 11 kilograms, um, I bet it would break uh, way over that as well. So, so for, yeah, for like four, five dollars, absolutely fantastic. So I bought, I've just bought so many of those. Right, we will get off, uh, and then, I have other one, other accessory carabiners like this camp one, just a wire gate on there. Um, another one of those. There's another night eyes. Also, if you've seen my video on my lanyard setup, you'll know that I use this little accessory carabiner uh, just for for hooking up the tail of my lanyard back to my harness again on this little prusik. Uh, so the. Accessory carabiners are never, you can never have enough of them because there's always little things you can clip them to, clip on little bags and it's never ending, absolutely never ending. Moving on to the shapes of carabiners. So we've got, you know, these small shapes with like kind of pointy angles and tight, tight at the bottom here. We have the classic like oval carabiners like this one. Um, you know, we have like the kind of more pear shaped carabiners, we have carabiners with the little pulley on the bottom, um, we have carabiners with the little wire gates, little captures on the bottom there. So there are so many different types, different sizes. Now why, why would you use one for the other? Well, let's start with the oval, because this is like the, the kind of a really common one within ARB and I feel like, now don't quote me on this, but I feel like this was almost designed at the ARB industry because what what you would what you find here is if you're using a friction hitch and you're using a you're using like a pulley, this is hitch climber pulley, and so you you've got an eye on either side of the pulley you need that much space there and with with a carabiner like this you can only have it on the top of the carabiner because that's where the space is you can't have it down the bottom i don't even know if yeah you could probably get it on the bottom but if you look when it all goes down the bottom it sits it doesn't sit very well and this this isn't even like the tightest um, carabiner like at the base of it but you can see it's kind of pushing up the gate uh, like kind of like the the hitch cord is pushing up kind of riding up the gate um, and also say if you had it on the top let me just move it back to the top again it's so it's so awkward just to kind of get the the hitch climb around those tight corners if you see if it's on the top it's kind of the it's putting the carabiner on a bit of an angle but also then it might not be loading like symmetrically and evenly that kind of thing <clears throat> so 
and, and then you can see it, say if you used a, a smaller version of like an angled carabiner there's even less space at the bottom here compared to the bottom on that one so when you get an oval carabiner that is perfect for for having the hitch climber set up because the round like nice kind of round carabiner you can the hitch climber just glides around easy to set up and I always 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 have the hitch set up like at the at the bottom of the gate so I have it upside down when it's on so that when I want to undo and take things off I'm not I'm not having to well when I'm wanting to connect it to my harness I'm just clicking and clicking it in the into the ring like so whereas if you had one of these pear pear shaped carabiners um, and all your hitch and your setup and things were at the top then you're kind of going to be clipping into your ring from opening at the top which I I don't know why that really bothers me but it does um, so I like to have I like to have that like that and and that's why that's what I use the oval carabiners for pretty much uh, obviously I, you can use them for anything they're 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 rated they're life support it's absolutely fine but I try and use the angled the these type of carabiners for where you've kind of got a single attachment at one end and a, and a single attachment at the other and you want them to kind of be put putting the weight more down the spine whereas this is more to to spread the load evenly to keep everything nice and even symmetrical it's not to have the carabiner on on like a tilt or anything like that so they're really necessary for if you're using the pinto pulley because the oval carabiner will slide all the way around nice and easy whereas you try something like the zodiac carabiner and you you can only get it to there you can't slide it and orientate it upside down so that's another use for the oval if you're using the the pinto pulley that is the oval carabiners um, and that, that pretty much says it for you know for for these shapes of carabiner uh, the it's basically you're attaching a, a load to the bottom and then you're attaching a what a single load to the top and it's the load is then sliding down into that corner so it's putting all of the the loading is going down the spine which is the strongest point of the carabiner obviously so that is kind of your standard carabiner for 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 most types for like rope access for uh, rescue for for most carabiner applications that's why you see like lots of all the accessory carabiners uh, I've put them away now but, um, you know, like these wire gate ones and rock climbing carabiners, they're, they're all that kind of shape because they're all forcing the load down down the spine. Uh, so there's just so many variations of those. And then you get like the, sl the larger carabiners, uh, like these big kind of pear-shaped ones. And you can get even larger ones. You, you can get like the DMM Boa, which kind of kinks out and it's huge, big open space for for different applications where you maybe have like really big textile and you need a lot of space in the that portion of the carabiner so um, and in the last few years we've seen these carabiners emerge which have a built-in pulley on the bottom of them now there's this Petzl like roll clip um, you have the DMM version DMM also do one that has like a double double pulley on there that I have, I have two of them, which is set up for like, to cre and it creates a mini five to one because I have have a thin line that's going through those pulleys, and it's just makes a really nice, easy, compact little five to one. Um, but these, yeah, these are fantastic for for say you creating 
like a mechanical advantage on your uh, SRS system when you're climbing. If you if you need, if you're going out on a huge limb walk, that's the the limb is kind of drooping down, and and you but you're climbing a stationary rope system, and you need to pull yourself back up. Uh, so you need some mechanical advantage. You can clip these on, and and create that mechanical advantage nice and easy. Um, also, you can use them if you clip one of these on when you uh, when you're lowering your chainsaw down, um, or you can clip one on to your harness when when you're lowering your chainsaw down from the top and then your ground staff can pull it back up again so there's so many so many uses that like really like efficient uses creating those kind of little tricks and tips of efficiencies um, clipping it on your base anchor when you're pulling your rope out and it kind of creates a redirect for for feeding in your rope into your bag again there's there's like a million well, maybe not a million, but lots of different reasons for using those little roll clips. So, if you if you've got some spare cash lying around and you want something new, then go and use that. the The DMM one is rated slightly higher. It has a little attachment point on the bottom, little becket. So the DMM one is is a little better than the Petzl version. You have some more specific types of carabiners. So these Rock Exotica. Uh, carabiners have this wire gate on them which captures the eye or captures some textile like this webbing sling and stops it from sliding around and and orientating itself in a really bad position so I absolutely love these little capture these wire gate captures for something for some reason it, they're spring loaded so it's just easy to un like like to open it up and then slide your rope out so that is really really useful um, other things to do that same job dmm sell these little rubber um, rope captures so i use that on my lanyard to just uh just to capture the eye around there so you don't get that same kind of like uh, dodgy orientation as you move around um, like that that we all know can happen in our work so wherever you don't need to be taking a carabiner on and off all the time or on and off from what's attached to it then i would always recommend using these captures they're absolutely fantastic uh, and like i say you can get the carabiners that have them built in so another good reason for these captive eyes is on the things like the the base anchor you don't want your base anchor um, you don't want the carabiner like orientating down the spine or onto the gate or something like that that could be potentially dangerous so having a captive eye on your base anchor is is a really good idea as well so having that little spring loaded capture on the carabiner absolutely great for that on that same note um, you can also use different things like so this is the old zigzag that I use I have uh, the old and the new so in the old one going through this little swivel with the carabiner the carabiners can orientate quite easily they're quite loose and I found that the little a little DMM kind of rubber grommet that you can get from DMM sits in that sits in that space absolutely perfectly and it's really nice and tight now you can still move the carabiner around but it doesn't spin around it stays in position so uh, unfortunately on the newer version of the zigzag it's a lot bigger of an opening so i use i use something similar to to what i use on my lanyard to capture the eye on the new zigzag um now the carabiner on the chicane which attaches to the zigzag if you have a chicane you'll know this you have to use petzl's own h frame carabiner because it's the it's the only one that will fit fit in the chicane correctly because they've kind of made a certain type of groove so only a h frame carabiner will actually go into the 
chicane correctly to, to stop the chicane flapping around. It keeps it in that stiff position. Um, so yeah, so the sh chicane, the H-frame carabiner that I use here is kind of like an oval shaped one. Um, but once you've got the zigzag on there in that eye, well, and once you've got the chicane on there, that does not move at all. This is my hand ascender and foot loop I have on there. Um, on there I have, it's called the DMM Perfect O. So that's like the Ultra O, but just a smaller version of it. Um, bought that one because it was something new to buy and I needed a new carabiner. Uh, put it on the hand ascender just to kind of keep everything a little bit more compact, which is a bit of a lame excuse really because it's only probably saving me like a, an inch or something so uh yeah that was that was just something because i wanted a new carabiner and it was something that i didn't have so i bought that now <clears throat> getting to the nitty gritty important stuff what are my favorite carabiners in general usability wise um, safety wise what do I prefer to use um, and this this comes from years and years of buying carabiners experience with carabiners this may be um, a differing opinion from other people but this is just my personal opinion uh, I'm not I'm not sponsored by anybody that sells carabiners so I have a completely impartial view um, I I've come to realize that Rock Exotica for me make the best carabiners when it comes to like aluminium triple locking climbing carabiners. And the reason I say that is I've been a fan of DMM for ages when it comes to the hardware um, and all the stuff that they make for the ARB industry. It is, I was talking to a friend of mine, Martin, the other day, and we we're saying they do make the most beautiful carabiners the most beautiful hardware things like the um the pinto pulleys and the different shapes of carabiner the way that everything is nicely rounded the rigging gear like the the hub the impact blocks all those absolutely beautiful nobody makes better looking hardware than DMM obviously it's the machinery they use the designers they have the manufacturing process all that kind of stuff the colors that they use they really have nailed that down but that's great and uh, it's nice to have new shiny stuff but when it comes to actual functionality usability and safety I found that using rock exotic carabiners over time these things never ever seem to need any form of lubrication or or maintenance they just they just work all of the time i'm never never having rock exotic or carabiner stick and i've owned some for years and every time i need to buy new carabiners now i'm buying rock exotica um this is the rock exotica d carabiner uh it has a really high rating actually for for personal protective uh, carabiner this one has 29 kilonewtons um, whereas most of the most of the others are like 25 uh, so yeah rock exotica they do the oval type they do this is called the D um, they they do the ones with the wire gates the pear shaped ones and the thing that I find, so I've, I, because I used to, I like DMM so much, I used to have a lot of these ultra O carabiners. I have, have lots of the, I was always just buying DMM and I stuck with it. I had, you know, I have the Zodiac, I have things that come on the, te the Tree Imagineers projects like the, um, the CE lanyard I have. So I, that comes with the Pinto and the Shadow and, or like all the the, the DMM hardware, uh, and I find that the DMM carabiners just seem to st to kind of stick and get gunked up and and just really need like you have to really watch that these are really operating correctly. I mean that's that's the 
sounds like a silly thing to say because you have to check and watch everything is operating properly. But what I mean by that is in my checks, I find that the DMM ones are are, are sticking sometimes, whereas the Rock Exotica ones never, ever seem to stick. Now, <clears throat> some people dislike the Rock Exotica carabiners because the the gate opening function is upside down compared to every other carabiner. Um, you you pull it down first rather than pushing it up first. Um, and at first that that put me off them, and I would I would come across it in like climbing competitions, and they would always use rock exotic carabiners in aerial rescue on the dummy. And if you're not familiar, you would kind of you'd be like, oh god, I can't get the carabiner open. Um, but once I started using them, I think the first like what started me on them was I won a, a few in climbing competitions so I never bought the first few and then I realized god these are pretty good uh, I got used to the upside down gate and never had any issues so I started buying some more they now make versions that have a gate that opens the the normal way with like all other carabiners so if you don't like rock exotica carabiners for the purpose of opening upside down you can get ones that open regular way up now so don't let that be an excuse i've got i got some new petzl carabiners recently so i have a few a couple of these black ones because they're actually uh, on the lower side of the price point um and when i went in last they didn't have any uh they didn't have any of the rock exotica ones and I needed a couple for the zigzag or chicane, I think. Um, so I bought some of those. So I haven't had enough time really to see if these stick, but obviously they haven't, they, well, they haven't been sticking yet. So Petzl ones also could, could be a, another good one. So a few carabiners and snaps that I really don't like. So I don't like the Petzl ball lock carabiners that have like a little ball in the gate where you have to press the ball in to open the gate i really never felt comfortable with those don't like those um sometimes when it's cold and your hands aren't really got much feeling and you can't feel the ball um, another type of carabiner that i really hate is the isc triple snaps this is because i had a, a really scary experience with while using one that was on my lanyard and the um the way that they're sliding system on that snap works it came open and it locked open in the position it kind of jammed uh, and it came out of my side d and it was a really scary moment so i'll never ever use one of those again since that happened to me i've heard a lot of similar stories where the exact same thing happened to other people so um, i really avoid using those isc triple snaps thank you for watching the video on carabiner selection so just to sum up Rock Exotica are my favorite carabiners for uh, life support protection just because of their reliability, their functionality and their, all the different shapes that they come in, um, that kind of stuff. So that would be my recommendation for anybody looking to buy new um, carabiners for climbing systems. Uh, thank you very much for watching again. Don't forget if you like this video to subscribe to the YouTube channel so that you get to see whenever we upload new videos. Refer the video to a friend if you think that they would find it useful as well. Um, and why don't you comment in the YouTube uh, comments below and tell me what you use, tell everybody else what you use and why you use carabiners. It, it could be useful to somebody reading. Thank you.